What Should I Do is a video series which educates the viewers on the best way to coexist with wildlife. Whenever in doubt, consult your nearest wildlife rehabilitator. Finding a baby bird on the ground can make anyone want to don their Superman costume and save the day. In doing so, you might be doing more harm than good. Getting in close proximity can put unnecessary stress on the baby bird. In addition, it can scare away the parents who might be watching from a distance. It is inappropriate and inhumane to force a wild animal to live the captive life of a pet, no matter how many Facebook likes it would garner. Nestlings haven't developed enough feathers, whereas a fledgling is a juvenile bird, which is old enough to be out of its nest, but still not competent to fly. Keep a safe distance when observing the baby bird. If the bird is a fledgling, it is most likely on the right path. Fledglings are becoming more independent as they learn to fly and forage. Leave them alone. If you step way back and watch from afar, you'll probably see the parents return with a beak full of food. If the bird is a nestling, look around for its nest and put it there. The parents might be back any time with the food. If you can't find the nest, put it in a nearby bush or a tree limb. If you still don't see it being attended for an hour, take it to your nearest wildlife rehabilitator. Hello, Wildlife Center? Birds have specialized diets, and animal crackers is certainly not part of it. Perfect! It's an eagle! That will help you get strong. Visit us at WCSV.org to find out the best ways to coexist with our wild neighbors.